plot the history database in a MATLAB. First, we need to download the history database. Uh, so, for that, go to the Google and search physionet.org. Physionet.org. Go to the physionet. So, physionet is a actually offers different free uh, recorded uh, physiological signals. And uh, this one is the free web access uh, for all these databases. So, in PhysioNet, go to the PhysioBank, then go to the databases, and in data databases, uh, waveform databases, go to the ECG. So, these are all the different ECG databases available at the PhysioNet, and all these databases are available as a free databases. Uh, so these are all the free databases available but mo most of the people are deal with this MIT BIH Arrhythmia database so just I am going to show you all these databases of MIT BIH Arrhythmia so all uh, MIT BIH Arrhythmia databases available so all these are the, this is the information av available with us regarding to MIT BIH database so these are all the different MIT BIH database start from here so for single database consider 100 the three different files available with us dot atr dot dat and dot x file so these are all the different databases available of mit bih or it database all these are different up to 234.atr so but we cannot download this uh, this file as it is because we are we are not seeing the signals Belonging, belonging to these databases so to see the online databases waveforms so physionet provides online viewer, uh, viewer for the uh, databases so go to physiobank again in physionet go to physiobank then go to the physiobank atm in physiobank atm so as you click on the physionet atm so this window is available with us so physiobank atm PhysioBank ATM. In PhysioBank ATM, we need to provide the input here. So different databases are again shown here as well. So few people deal with the abdominal database. For for those people, abdominal uh, database is available here. Then uh, for few people, you know, those who work on a different MIT BIH databases. So these are all different MIT BIH databases. MIT BIH Arrhythmia databases. Just we have seen earlier so just click on uh, MIT BIH Arrhythmia database so these are the all different records up to 234 so these are the all databases records so I am just going to show you um, record 100 so and the, in that database so, so these two different signals are available so I am going to plot for V5 lead so V5 and here you can choose the length of the database. I am selecting the 10 second default database uh, length. And here is the plot waveform option is selected already. So here you can see the uh, waveform available for the database. But we are not interested here uh, in this waveform. We need to plot this waveform in a MATLAB. So just click here. And here is the option available as export the signal as a dot .mat file. So just click on it. And as you drop down here are the different files available with us so this one is the dot mat file which can be now opened in a matlab this one is the information file and this is the the x file x file just provides us the information about the database so normal record number and all but we are not interested in that so just click on this matlab dot mat file so this dot mat file is executable by matlab so just click on it we are just going to download these two files only in dot mat file and dot info file so click on this mat file so it will ask you for the destination to store so i am just going to save it in a i am just going to create new folder here so, So in saga test I am going to save this particular file. 
MATLAB data file and again just click on this file again the info file so again save the info file in the same folder only so open this dot info file using the notepad and here is the information available in a single row only just break that row to understand the information the duration then again from sampling frequency sampling interval in this particular row So uh, this one is now organized so sampling frequency for available database is 360 and lead selected is e5 gain is 200 base is 1024 so the but the database available is a raw units with the raw units only we need to convert it into the milliwatt samples so for that we need to subtract the base so this one is the base and we need to divide by the gain and gain is a 200 so now just go to the matlab and choose your directory where you have stored the database so i have stored it in a this particular this is the atm this is it in our project and then saga test so just select the folder so okay as soon as you click on it so the downloaded database that is dot mat file and dot info file you can see here so once these files are available in this comma current folder now go to the new script here we need to write the code to load the database in a matlab to load any file in a matlab the processor is given here so i am just going to copy the code so this clc is nothing but to clear the command window at every time when the, we are going to run the program so now load so we need to load this particular file in a matlab so this 100 m.mat file so just type here which file we need to load 100 m.mat file now the matlab already know that it automatically consider that whenever we write this load instruction matlab automatically load this particular data in this val variable so and or in val vector so we need not to write the val variable so MATLAB will automatically consider the destination where it needs to load the data. So, automatically data will be available in a val. But, in information file it is given that we need to convert this raw units into the physical units into millivolts. So, for that we need to subtract the base from this particular database and we need to divide by gain. Subtract base. So, I am going to subtract the base. Base is 1024. Subtract base 1024 then divide by gain the gain given is a 200 so divide by 200 now sampling frequency sampling frequency given is 360 hertz so just i'm going to type here 360 and this one is data this particular is available information for just the y-axis that is the magnitude axis of the ecg plot we need to consider the time axis also so for the time calculation different instances of the time so i am going to just using this formula time value of any sample is just sample number divided by sampling frequency so i am just going to use this particular formula so that i will get automatically the time vector and now i am going to plot the x axis variable versus y axis so i am going to plot t variable or the different time instantan on x axis and uh, magnitudes of different signals on the different samples on a y-axis so x-axis will be automatically the time time and y-axis will be the ecg signal and the samples in millivolt so here is the whenever so i am just going to save the file and again where i am going to save this file in the same folder saga test so that no confusion and i'm going to save this file so once just you save the file just go to this particular again current folder in current folder try this particular file is available if this file is available then only you have done you have saved it correctly if it is not available here then again 
save as it into this particular folder only in saga disk so be, be, the reason behind is that in this particular we are calling this 100.100m.mat file and this file is available in this particular directory only so we need to save the file in the same directory only once we save the file just click on a run button and this one is the database available with us so this particular database is available in a form so now to just to cross check i am going to show you again same i am just going to plot this database in online viewer on physio bank this same same available 100 v5 previous one only and here is the database online viewer and here is the database available with the matlab plot so we can compare the plot in a matlab and plot in a online viewer the database the plots are same only so here we can see at the start there is a small shift here is also small shift so there is no issue of mismatch the database plot in uh, matlab will be exact plot of the online database only so the different databases available here are so the different abdominal database are also available here so abdominal databases are also available here so just click on abdominal data database select the databases of abdominal database and select the abdomen 1 2 3 4 any of one in which you are interested so i just chosen the abdomen and here you can see the waveform because plot waveform option is selected if you want to just plot the rr interval then you can choose here rr interval and then site will automatically show you just the rr interval only so this one are the different options available so zip file also can download again some different databases are available so you can choose any of the database of according to your choice so many of the people work on a patient's database they can choose the patient database as well so and this one i'm going to show you again in a matlab so this one is the ecg signal we have plotted in a matlab thank you so much once again